Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. So I'm here to talk about stress acne. And it's a little bit ironic because right now it is almost 1 a.m. Sydney, Australia. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big kisses from Australia. If you guys are watching this from wherever you are, I want to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Today I want to chat about what stress acne is, how it's different from your menstrual kind of hormonal acne, what stress does to your body and your skin, and ways to kind of manage it or prevent it. Hopefully, this video is going to be helpful. I want to chuck in my personal experience. If you guys can relate, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Now, whenever I stress out, out, I start to get really really oily and that's exactly what stress does to your body so I'm going to start off with that when you feel like you're overwhelmed emotionally and physically your stress levels releases these cortisone levels in your body and that spike of cortisone levels pretty much increases the androgens in your body and it plays a huge factor on your oil glands your oil glands will go into this overdrive and this excess sebum in, in your skin causes you to be more prone to like clogged pores, acne breakouts, and it pretty much just worsens your acne. While stress doesn't like cause acne, it exacerbates the situation. So if you feel like you're sweating and sometimes even smells like more than usual, that could be a sign of, you know, stress acne. The thing that is different from menstrual acne, hormonal acne, is that you usually get hormonal acne around your jawline and your mouth, and it's, it happens just before your menstruals or during your menstruals. With stress acne, it can happen anywhere on your face, and they could be red, itchy, quite inflamed. So those are kind of the factors to look for, but also asking yourself, am I having enough time to take a break, take a step back and breathe? If not, you're most likely stressed some form of way. Like these stress hormones in your body can alter your immune system. It could suppress your digestive system. And you guys, I always say, if you guys follow me, your whole body works, little organs, everything in your body works as a system. If something is not working at its best, then it's most likely that other parts of your body is gonna have more pressure. It's gonna be out of whack. There's gonna be some sort of imbalance offsetting a number of issues. So if this stress hormone is suppressing your digestive system where you're not able to cleanse and detox properly, it could show out on your face. If there is a suppression of your digestive system and it's causing your intestines to harbor a lot more bacteria, this overgrowth of bacteria again will clog up your, your system, it will show out in your face, it will cause this heated liver, it will cause the overall inflammation in your body. And so I'm not speaking in scientific term, I'm just speaking as the way I understand it and I hope this helps you. And I'm speaking from personal experience. As of late, like the past couple of months, I've been so stressed just about life, about, about my relationship, about moving places, about my career, and I have those moments of self-doubt. And when I wallow in those thoughts, I can feel myself sweating I can feel my face throbbing when I'm under intense like pressures at my work because I'm a teacher and I feel like you know parents are bombarding me students are going crazy like zoo animals and I'm just going insane I could feel the heat rushing up in my body and that's an, a sign of inflammation it's a sign of your stress cortisol being released out in your body and so you got to really really figure out what's triggering this stress and try to minimize that that's my number one tip on how to really prevent that i also do try to take like you know warm water with lemon in the morning making sure that, that i don't upset my digestive system with cold drinks i also like take a like a step back and just breathe if that pretty much works for me i was doing that in the car and sometimes I put it in like a really nice like a soothing music like a song soundtrack and that just really calms myself down and one thing that really helps with my stress hormones is definitely journaling journaling makes a world of a difference so I think a lot of the times when your mi your mind spirals out of control you start to think very irrationally and so when you're writing it down you're asking yourself Okay, when you look at it visually and you say, is this just my emotions playing on me or are these points actually valid? Are they logical? And if they're not logical, you cross them out and you say, it's just my wild thoughts. So pretty much eliminating those 
like stress factors is definitely one of the best top recommendations I would give you. Another important thing is also forgiving yourself and letting go. So if something is completely out of your control, don't beat yourself up for it. I think my last step would be skincare. So I would recommend you guys to exfoliate two to three times a week maximum. Don't over exfoliate because that's just gonna trigger the cycle again and you're gonna overproduce oils. I'm talking about AHA products. They're really, really great because glycolic acid sheds that outer layer of your dead skin cells and it helps like reduce that oil production. In terms of mask recommendations, the Banished Pumpkin Mask is amazing. I love that. I apply it for 15 minutes and then I wash it off. Don't apply it for longer because it's not going to be effective and you don't want to cover your face for a long period of time. You want your skin to breathe. I love a good toner. Deep green Benton toner is really great. It's super soothing. It doesn't strip the skin from its natural oils. To kind of break it down further, when you're stressing, your body goes into defense mode. And so we release these, these hormones to protect your body but at the same time it's causing inflammation and it triggers your oil glands so it kind of sucks that's pretty much your body asking you for help so take this as a learning lesson and don't blame your body don't ask them why is this happening to me but more so what is this teaching me what can I do to better my lifestyle what can I do to produce long-term results to minimize my stress levels and I know for a fact that when I was teaching my first year after I graduated my skin was was breaking out all like on my cheeks it was cystic pimples it was underneath my skin and it was so stubborn and I was crying like every single every single week <sighs> yeah it was pretty pretty brutal and then I resigned that job and my skin literally changed like it was so much more improved it was a lot smoother it was less inflamed and it made me realize, it reminded myself how much stress plays a huge factor in my skin journey. So this is a short video. If you have any other tips or if you want to vent out what stresses you out, just comment below. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and big kisses. Bye guys.